Hello everybody and welcome to Queenstown. We have just arrived here and we are going to go for a little explore around the city and share our initial thoughts with you. However, we're going to be spending a whole three weeks here because we have a house sit. We are looking after a dog called Nala and a cat called Puss Puss. So you may see them on some up and coming videos. We're going to share a lot more about Queenstown. But first of all, let's just go and have a little look around and share our reactions with you. Okay, and first things first, we are gonna head into town to get the world famous, best burger in the world apparently. It's a Ferg Burger. It's the most popular place. There's always a huge queue outside, but we have put in a phone order. So we're gonna walk straight to the phone order line and pick up our burgers and go find somewhere nice to eat. It's a bit hectic, isn't it? Hey, um, I think 394 is for Corey. 393, so you're close. Oh, sorry. Well, pretty hectic. <laughs> Crazy busy, I wouldn't want to sit here. Thank, thank you so much. Oh, really? Awesome, awesome. Thank, thank you. I have the goods. The Ferg Burger package has been secured. We're off to find somewhere lovely to sit somewhere in the shade, because it's actually boiling here today. Thank you. We have got a lakeside spot for our lunch. One for you. I guess they're exactly the same. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. Well, there's only one, just one vegan option. Yeah, no, two. Two, uh, I think we just got a tofu. Oh, it looks like a battered tofu. There's quite a few options, but we're plant based, obviously limited. But I can't believe it was just so busy and so loud. Not somewhere you'd want to sit. It's much nicer to come somewhere quieter, and I think that's what a lot of people do. Oh my gosh, look at this. I don't know how I'm going to eat this. What's inside here, though? I don't know how to eat this. Yeah, it's um, a little bit overwhelming. The size of these burgers is ridiculous. So we got two burgers and some fries and it cost around $42. Um, I guess it's kind of what you expect to pay. We know Queenstown is one of the most expensive places in all of New Zealand, so we have been prepared for that. But this is pretty tasty. Probably not the best vegan burger I've ever had, but it is nice. Burger's done, how's that? The battered tofu was really nice. Yeah. I wouldn't get it again. No, I think there's a lot of other restaurants for us to check out here. Yeah, let's say brought out a different type of veggie burger, but I've heard the other Meat burgers are really good, so check that out for yourself. So we weren't the only people to choose this as a little picnic spot. As you can see, there's a lot of people out here um, with food from different places. There's a lot of Ferg Burger bags as well. This is Earnslaw Park, and it seems like a very popular spot to come and have some lunch in the sunshine. It's really beautiful. Look at the paragliders. Oh yeah, we got paragliders coming off the mountaintop. There is a gondola which goes up the hill just here. And uh, I think that's where they launch from. Obviously, Queenstown is known as the adventure playground for adrenaline junkies, and that is so evident when you get here. I mean, we have paragliders <laughs> just coming like one by one on top of us, like just all coming down. Over on the lake, there's just so much going on. There is like jet skis, yeah. um, shark, what were they called? Like shark boats? Yeah, hydro attack. They're like these semi-submersible jet boats they're yeah. really cool they're crazy but there's just so much going on obviously there's the famous bungee jump but i think that is out of town that's not here you have to drive yeah. out of town but there is loads of activities and it's obviously a playground here for people like him who like adrenaline <laughs> So I think you can tell from just walking around town here that this is a place to spend money if you have a lot of money to spend. There is some designer shops, oh my god, sweeps by seagulls. There's some designer shops, there's a lot of restaurants, some really nice looking restaurants too that probably cost a pretty penny. We've had a little browse at the cost of prices of just kind of like your normal restaurant and it is a little bit more expensive than what we have found around the rest of New Zealand on this South Island trip especially. But we heard so often how expensive Queenstown is, so we are not surprised. It doesn't feel like New Zealand, actually. It feels like, honestly, to me, it feels like it, we're in Switzerland. <laughs> Obviously, there's multiple stores here for hiking gear. You've got your Kathmandu, Map Pack, Patagonia, Mountain Warehouse. So if you need any more gear, you can obviously buy it here. Would advise to get it beforehand. 
should probably pay a nice amount of money to get it here. But if there's anything that you've missed, yeah, I think people do come here just to spend money. And there is a bit of a, um, like a stag do vibe here. What's it in, in New Zealand? What's it called? Bucks? The Bucks party, yeah. Yeah, I think like people from Aussie would come here for a stag do. So the front area of town next to the lake, it's a little bit louder, isn't there? Yeah, There's definitely yeah. like high spirits party vibes. That's where you go and have a few drinks. Good on and then the main town itself, a few streets back, it's a bit quieter. It's just got your regular high street stores, hiking stores, and then what a couple of um, high end stores for money, money, money. And yeah. then just your bits and bob stores. Nice fancy jewelry shops around as well. Ooh, it seems that this place is quite Quite popular too. Around here you have obviously the famous fur burger but you also have queues building up in other places too. We saw some, we saw a crowd at this cookie time little spot and Corey wants to go there and this Patagonia seems to get really busy too. Um, it kind of just like comes and goes the queues but I had a look to see if we could get anything from there but there didn't seem to be anything dairy free but it looked like very nice. Obviously there's an amazing view here from the lakefront, but I just learned this isn't the Remarkables. <laughs> the famous mountain range that you have here is actually over there, but we have no snow at the moment. We are here in, where are we? Awesome. We're in early April, autumn, and the colors around here of the trees, absolutely beautiful. That is a reason alone to come in autumn. They look absolutely gorgeous. But we have no snow on the mountains, so it is predicted they may come over the next few days. And as you know, we're going to be staying here for a while, most of the month. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get a little dusting of snow because the mountains look so much more spectacular when that happens. But obviously, that is an absolutely beautiful view. And not a lot of people try and grab those outside seats so they can get that view while they have their lunch or a drink. Well, we have got a beautiful day today and this is Queenstown Beach and I'm guessing this is where people come for a little dip if they want to go for a swim. It's quite uh, public here though. There's just a little pond too and some kids on it, but I'm keen to go and see uh, the water and see how clear it is. I really want to go in there. It looks so nice. It's so clear. Apparently it's 12 degrees and it stays that temperature all year round, which is lovely. And being here does remind me of being in Wanaka. If you saw our vlog in Wanaka, we spent 48 hours there and we loved it. This feels like, what, Wanaka's big brother? Yeah, um, much more developed. Yeah, but definitely more touristy. Honestly, I'm going to say at this moment in time, initial impressions, I prefer Wanaka. You just get a bit more of that commercialism touristy side here in Queenstown. Wanaka had a very nice balance, but we've still got a lot more time to fall in love with Queenstown and maybe that'll change. This beach area is so lovely. I love these trees as well. I think they're, are they like a weeping willow variant? Excuse me, duckies. <laughs> a field of duckies. We'll go around, sorry guys. But I think in this direction over here is where the Botanic Gardens is, up this way. So um, let's go and have a look at some nature. It's hard to avoid really. Even just walking around the town centre, just constantly seeing mountain ranges down, you know, above the buildings, down one of the streets. It is a really amazing place just to wander around and just look up and see what you see. It could be a paraglider, there might be a helicopter or a skydiving plane. Go, 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 there's something happening all the time. Cool little garden, playing around even. If you were a kid, you'd love that place, wouldn't you? <laughs> it's a pretty fun playground for kids. Right, we have come to a decision. Should we go up or down? I think up. Should we go up? Yeah. We're gonna go up. Oh my gosh, it's huge. Giant sequoia. <laughs> wow, what a beautiful tree. The Queenstown Gardens here are so lovely to walk through. The colors at this time of year are just so beautiful and rich and diverse as well. We've got beautiful oranges and reds and lush greens of all different colours. Even just wandering around town, the colours that you see in the trees is, is really amazing. But this garden area is particularly lovely. I can imagine taking a walk around here early in the morning or in the afternoon. It'll be beautiful to do with all the mountain ranges around you. It's really, really stunning. Good job, Queenstown. <laughs> What's that, Shaz? Um, some sort of game that it sounds like I would be very bad at. So you throw frisbees and I guess you get stuck in here. 
but that would require someone to have good direction when throwing frisbees. And I do not. Frisbee golf, that's what it is. Frisbee golf, cool. That's what this whole area would be really good for, to read a book under a tree. I get it. Pine cone galore. Look how many pine cones there are. Is it correct that pine cones aren't native? Uh, I think so, yeah. So the, these weren't original to the area, but I do love this area and it's lovely and shaded. And look how many pine cones are on the floor, oh my gosh. We have looped around now and we're walking back towards town, but via a path that's next to the lake. And this is absolutely beautiful. You can't really see the town from here, but you can see more of the suburbs around Queenstown. And then behind me is some more suburbs and where some hotels are. And they're remarkable. And, and they're remarkable, I can see them, they're remarkable. I did see a little water taxi, I think. So I think if you're staying around there, you can jump on that to get to the town. And we did just see a crazy, what was it? Like a jet, jet boat. It reminded me of a boat I took in Thailand to get in between the islands, which I felt very nauseous on, <laughs> but it did look like a lot of fun. Well, this little Queenstown Gardens Peninsula seems to be a very popular spot also to come for a little picnic or, you know, just a little bike ride or a run. A lot of people are just making use of all of the seating that's around, around the edge of this peninsula area. It's really cute. You just get to watch all of the jet boats go by, paragliders falling out of the sky, the beautiful mountain ranges around. It's just a, it's a lot to take in. There is a lot to take in. It doesn't really feel like New Zealand actually. Charlotte just mentioned that. If you flew into Queenstown, it would give you the wrong impression, I think, or you wouldn't have an accurate impression of what New Zealand is really like. The scenery, like the natural scenery is New Zealand. Like New Zealand is mountainous, you know, the lakes and it is, scenically beautiful is that a word yeah. however yeah, like sure just walking around Queenstown town itself and just the, the way it is I've not really felt seen or felt that anywhere else around New Zealand so does that mean that this place is not quite New Zealand I'm not sure yeah definitely different to like some of the smaller towns and um, places that we've been to around New Zealand growing up in Taranaki um, small towns and and <laughs> and Taranaki are very, very different to this. There's a few corner shops, a few dairies, and a couple of supermarkets if you're lucky. You might even get a traffic light. <laughs> but um, yeah, this place is very, very heavily capitalized on in terms of the outdoor adventure, adrenaline um, marketing, I guess. Well, it definitely feels that like we have a good scope of the place now and I'm definitely excited to do some more stuff here. I really want to go and do some hikes here for sure. Yeah, there's loads of mountains to go and check out. All the Remarkables, you've got the one here and then Queenstown Hill behind us. Woohoo! So make sure you don't miss out. Like and subscribe for more of our Queenstown and New Zealand adventures and we'll see you soon. <laughs>